Hi, this is Dan. Uh, today I'd like to share another very short but very interesting chess game. This game is very famous. Um, it was played in 1750, more than 260 years ago. And in this game, white checkmates black in only seven moves. And white does this in a very interesting and very surprising way. So this game became very famous because of white's really, really brilliant ideas in this game. So the game starts pawn to e4 and black answers pawn to e5. Both players place a pawn in the center, uh, control some important squares, and also allow the bishops on f1 and f8 to move and allow the queens to move. White continues knight to f3 and black needs to protect the e5 pawn and black decides to do that with d6. So white continues bishop to c4. The bishop is very strong on c4. It attacks d5, which is an important square in the center. It attacks e6 and also attacks the pawn on f7. And this pawn for black uh, can be a little bit weak and black needs to be careful. Uh, the, the same is true of white's pawn on f2. These pawns are only protected by the king, so that's why they can be a little bit weak. And uh, when you play chess, just remember to be careful of f2 and f7. Okay, so black continues with bishop to g4. And if you can remember, uh, another game I showed you, uh, black chose to play bishop to g4 in that game also for the third move and black got into some trouble. Uh, in this game also, white will checkmate black very quickly. But I don't want you to think that this kind of bishop move is always bad. In many games, moving the bishop to pin the knight to the queen is a very strong move. So this can often be very strong. Um, just remember, in chess, uh, sometimes the same idea is good in one game, but not good in another game. So, okay, white continues, knight to c3, moving the knight toward the center and developing another piece. Black plays pawn to g6, uh, planning to move the bishop on f8 to g7. But you'll see this plan is too slow because white has a big surprise for black. White plays knight captures pawn on e5, nx e5. And this is a move that looks crazy because now the black pawn can capture the knight or the black bishop can capture the queen. So in this game, uh, black made a mistake. Uh, black was thinking that white's move, capturing on e5 with the knight, was a mistake. So black thought, OK, I'll just take the queen. So now the really interesting part of this game happens because after black takes the queen, white has a checkmate in just two moves. Checkmate in two moves. So if you want to look at this game now and think, if you're playing white, how can you checkmate black in two moves? How can you checkmate black? So you can pause the video, think about it, and then play the video again. Okay, the first move um, is a bishop move, and we are thinking again about this f7 pawn, which is only protected by the king. But you can see that white's knight attacks the pawn, and white's bishop also attacks the pawn. So uh, this knight and bishop uh, are very strong, and they can work together to attack the king, and also to capture that f7 pawn. So the stronger move is to play bxf7, using the bishop to capture the pawn, because this move is a check. So black must answer the check. And the king cannot capture the bishop, because the knight on e5 attacks f7. The king cannot move to d7, because the knight attacks d7. So the king must move to e7. And right now, can you find the winning move? How does white checkmate black? This is a checkmate in just one move. So take a few minutes or uh, pause the video, try to find the answer, and then press play.
The answer is knight to d5, checkmate. So this game shows you that um, the most important thing in chess is checkmate. So black captures white's queen, but white checkmates black's king. So this is a much better for white. And uh, just remember, if you're playing a chess game and some someone makes a move and you think that you can capture something like capture a queen with your bishop or capture a rook with your pawn just be careful because uh, it might be a good move but you always need to think about if you if you make that capture or if you make any move in chess uh, what will happen later is it really safe or not so it, it might be safe but in this game you'll see that black decided to capture the queen and black had some big problems so I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I think this this is a very interesting chess game to study. It's more than 260 years old, but we can still learn a lot. So thank you very much for watching.